to Home Sweet Home. Every week, the best home experts on the Sun Coast reveal their best tips and best tricks for inspiration and transformation. It's your beautiful home hotspot. This week, outdoor living at its finest. Hi, my name is Amy Hummel. And I'm Danielle Krausek with Superior Pool. Today we are in Punta Gorda at the Krausek Residence. A pool built for a king. Our king. The founder of Superior Pools, Bill, Bill Krausek. Hi, I'm Bill Krausek. Hi, and I'm Janine. We are from originally from Michigan. We moved down here in uh, 2000. Started uh, Superior Pools in Southwest Florida by an invitation of good friends of mine that we were in business with in, in Michigan in the automobile business. And after the winters started to get to us a little bit, we had an open invitation to come down and waited about 20 years because we wanted to raise the kids in our little comfort zone uh, where we all grew up and spent about 50 years. Our friends invited us and we come down and did a spin-off from their company and, and uh, opened Superior Pools of Southwest Florida. We always wanted John to take over the business and uh, he followed us down after college. We started grooming him to, to be in the business and he kind of started at the bottom as we all did. Over time he learned different trades and tile work, clean outs, all the way on up to sales and design. And at this point, I think we finally got where it's for a good place for him to take it over. Well, he's basically been running the company for several years and each year we've just turned more and more over to him where the last three years it's been basically his show or his, his operation and uh, I'm his helper. That's basically yeah, what it that's was. To. I can now say that uh, I've actually become a snowbird. I'm not sure I ever thought I would say that. In this last winter, the month of April really uh, was pretty severe as far as weather. And we had about 30 inches of snow in a two week period. And that basically just pushed me over the edge that I was coming back to Florida. Yeah. And so together we had decided that we I were going was retiring to do that. in September. And yeah, Janine also retired. Right. And uh, so we had decided that we were going to come back to a warmer climate. And if nothing else, at least spend the uh, winters here. Right. So I flew down a couple of times and found this house and through emails and text and pictures, uh, this is where we ended up. Of course, uh, the house, we had to make quite a few changes because it wasn't exactly what we wanted, but we liked the location. And uh, as far as there was no pool here, so that was a plus for us uh, because having our own company, we knew what we wanted and we could actually build something that would be able to be used for the business as well. And it's beautiful. It's our own little paradise. When I first moved down here, one of my friends who was a pool builder built in this area, actually in another portion of Prairie Creek. And I always thought how nice it would be to actually live out there in horse country, even though we don't have horses. I like to look at them from afar and I get the same enjoyment because a lot of times they have the horses here, but they don't necessarily ride them. And, and we came from, you know, we lived on acres in Michigan and we liked the room and I love, I grew up with horses so I love it. And maybe one day we'll have a couple of horses because we have the room and it's, it's just, a, when we saw this property, it was the most beautiful. It's because Florida, I'm not a Floridian. I've never really been to Florida very much. And I always thought it was like house on house on house and then when we saw this it was just beautiful and so it's perfect all around well and most of the the properties in this are five acres uh, some might be slightly more or less so and it's pretty much every 
It's kind of considered horse country out here. Not everyone has horses, but you have the open spaces and the view that we have, as you look out the back, we have a pretty good sized pond. And over that, they've built a bridge and a gazebo and just a lot of features that, things that we had in Michigan. When we decided we were gonna move here and be snowbirds, in March, when we found this piece of property, it was exciting because it was a blank canvas for us to be able to do whatever we wanted as far as a pool. Looking to add more space to your place while avoiding a long and costly remodel? A beautifully designed custom closet or home office space from More Space Place offers endless possibilities. Schedule your free consultation. Sleep King in Sarasota, where you can buy a mattress today, sleep on it tonight. Now through Wednesday, your favorite brands in stock and on sale. Free same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Visit our showroom or at sleepkingmattress.com. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's got to be a kitchen from Murotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home. Sleep King in Sarasota, since 1972, where you can buy a mattress today, sleep on it tonight. Now through Wednesday, your favorite brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more are in stock and on sale. Free same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. The best rest of your life starts at Sleep King in Sarasota. Visit our showroom today or at sleepkingmattress.com. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Looking to add more space to your place while avoiding a long and costly remodel? More Space Place offers the widest selection of the most comfortable and stylish Murphy beds in the market. Schedule your free design consultation. Hi, B. So when my dad came to me and you and said uh, he wants to build a pool, I was like, all right, we'll build you a basic one. He said, okay. <laughs> So we thought his pool was going to be a little bit harder than mine to build since mine was the toughest challenge that you've ever had, the most pickiest customer you've ever had, right? Uh -huh. So let's, uh, let's go in, in, into the design here about this pool on uh, what happened and how we came to what we got here. So surprisingly, it wasn't that hard to design the pool for him. It was still, still pleasing what you wanted out of the pool. <laughs> so. So yeah, I mean, they, they really liked one of the other designs that we had done, and we kind of just beefed it up from there with features and areas, because there was a whole lot more space here too. Oh, yeah. And actually, when he first called me, when he first bought this house, um, he called me and said, hey, I want to fit a little pool in the backyard. You think I can do it? And I said, yeah, absolutely. There's plenty of room here, obviously. Um, we can definitely fit a little pool back here. And uh, what do you have in mind? And it just kept, scaling and scaling and scaling till, till we got here, so. Oh, and really on the design, you know, when we did my design, it was about, what, maybe 50 different designs on yeah. my pool? Yeah. And on this one, me and uh, Ben sat down in a half hour and drew this pool up. And we sent it to my dad, and we thought he was gonna say, oh, that's way too much. There's too many things going on there. And he was like, no, I love it, let's build it. And we're like, oh, man. This <laughs> now we have to build it. <laughs> it was kind of just all drawn on the program like a dream pool. Right. And we're like, oh man. So. And figure out how to plumb it. Oh yeah. yeah. Plumb it and uh, there's a lot of, a lot of things we've never even tried before on this pool. And why not try it on something that, hey, if it doesn't work, you gotta live with it, sir. And so, only you have to deal with it. Well, and then I would have to deal with the kickback from it. Right. So, you know, I was under a little bit of pressure with it, but uh, no, it, all the stuff that we did was, was awesome. Turned out great. Basically, uh, from owning the company and being familiar with it, it was made very easily by John, our son, and uh, 
Ben, the designer, and John's wife, Danielle, uh, worked with, basically worked with Janine because I've built numerous pools over the years and there's not one of them that's not pretty when you're done. So I really right. didn't have a preference. Right. And uh, I just like, I just a few little details that I like, like the straighter lines and the fire and water element. And they just took it and ran with it. And we have paradise. It's beautiful. Well, and the nice thing about it is we didn't deal with any of the mess, which right. When you build a pool or any construction, you're going to tear up the grass and that sort of thing. We didn't have to deal with any of that. We just come, when we arrived down here, we were wowed. We didn't even have pictures of anything because we wanted it that way. Right. And uh, they way over delivered and basically uh, far exceeded our expectations. How about the beach entry right here with this yeah. travertine going into the beach entry? You know, Remember we looked at correct. We different looked, ideas? And... With the beach entry, it's one of the hardest things. First off, so many people get it confused with the sun shelf, all right? This is a beach entry here because you can walk right into the water. The water comes right up to the edge of the deck. You can walk right into it. The sun shelf's over there. It's just uh, eight to 10 inches of water, even. A beach entry gradually goes into the pool. Usually on a beach entry, since the water comes up, your pebble, your hydraza, whatever surface you have in there is dry. So we came up with tying the deck in to the beach entry. It was the first time we've ever done this. And Gerardo, our artist that does the tile and the plaster came up with it. And he hand cut every little piece and he grinded them down. And it's amazing. Now we've done one or two since and they've turned out even better. And, and it works great too, because now you have no possibility of your plaster drying out and cracking and things like that and then a lot of other ways to do it it would be like putting a line of tile here but then it breaks up the deck to the right. plaster and this just flows even the way we cut it so that it matches the shape of the sun shelf over oh, there. That, that was one of the things I was the happiest with is how this turned out yeah and then the way we even cut it to make it look like a wave and match the, the shelf over there that turned out awesome there. When we decided about the pool and we had so much area to work with we talked about a beach entry, so it's very easy access to get into the pool, you know, without steps, trying, having to lift your legs, which my sister has MS, and so I thought that would be a great thing for her to be able to ease right into the pool like that. And so we didn't have any limits, so it worked out perfectly for her to be able to do that. Well, actually, and I think it was uh, Ben or Danielle's yeah. idea that we could do a a real full beach entry, not a shortened one. So it's uh, the overall length of this pool is is quite a bit longer than the normal, but a lot of it is taken up in the beach entry area. Right. And some other little features. So this one was pretty cool, the, the fire bowls. They wanted to have water and fire for sure. And you know, we wanted to do this trough area, but we couldn't figure out, you know, there's a lot of water fire bowls, but nothing really just fit because we wanted the water to spill into the trough and then flow out of the out of the scuppers on the other end. So when you can't find something that works, you just make it. So we custom made this one, um, this water feature, so that it has spillways on all three sides and none on the back here, so it doesn't spill out on the deck and it, it fit in there perfect. Yeah, you know that was a challenge at first to find the right company, and we ended up going with uh, Custom Cascades out of Texas, a great company, and they did everything that I wanted them to do for the design. They helped us, uh, you know, they're out of Texas, so they helped us over the phone how to hook it up and install it. Very responsive, great company. But it turned out exactly how we wanted it. Yeah. Because on paper, when we designed it, the whole point was for this to flow over here with this water, then it flows down into the pool. So you got a double, double tier fountain there, and it's basically all gravity driven. So. Well, yeah, because the, the scuppers, normally on a water feature, you have a, a plumbing pipe going up to your scuppers and you're forcing water through it. In this, we just wanted it to spill over and these are just pass-through scuppers, so water just spills out into the pool. And that was another big challenge when we were trying to plumb it and figure out the hydronics on the pool because to get all that to flow evenly, it was a lot of calculations. Correct, right, because once it's uh, done, it's too late. So <laughs> Not much you can do at that point. The plumbing on this pool is the biggest plumbing that we've ever done. 
it was just amazing how much pipe and how many lines this thing took. Yeah. It, it was a challenge. Let's go over and look at some of these water features too, because that's another challenge is when you do water features in a pool, it, it's all gonna follow the path of least resistance. So depending on how much piping and 90s and fittings there are to each feature, you're gonna get more flow into it naturally. And then to be able to balance it out so your deck jets shoot the same distance, your bubblers all break the water the same. It's where we use a lot of control valves and, and different piping sizes to accommodate that. Pretty much did all the features that we like to see in pools with LED deck jets to bubblers, to even in the little steps going across to the spot, we have a bubbler in there, kind of made like a wet edge step. We went back and forth on this. Uh, we call them Jesus steps because you're basically walking over the water to get into the spa. And it's just a really cool effect. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that was a little bit of a challenge from the coping guy to when they did the plaster to, you know, there's a little bit of challenge of plumbing that in. You know, there's a lot of things that go into it. It looks good when it's done. Yeah. But uh, there's a lot of things that actually go into it. Also, we have an uh, in-floor uh, PCC 2000 floor system in here where we have a floor head there, a couple floor heads over there, so it pushes the dirt off the sun shelf into the pool and we have them in the pool and then that pushes towards the main drain. Well, well, and that's a huge challenge on a pool like this correct. where we just created a ton of dead spots in these areas. So having a system like that, an in-floor cleaning system is huge. Be able to help circulate the water and all the debris and get it out. And also with the in-floor, it's good for circulation and to heat your pool. So now you're heating from the, the bottom up. So you're heating here, everything's evenly. Mm -hmm. So he has two heaters. Uh, we'll get to the heaters, but sure. uh, it, it really helps out when it comes to heating. In the spa, we had to make a spa bigger than yours. <laughs> the standing jets too are a really nice feature where we break the, break the bench and have a couple of jets over in the back wall of the spa. So you can stand in front of it. You can also sit on the steps. Yeah, and also we tiled all the way down on the front there and on the inside of the pool and all the way down here. So there's a lot of tile. Uh, shout out to Love Tile. They hooked us up with this tile and uh, they took care of us and it's beautiful tile. Well, yeah, and the, this tile too in particular, this is one of my favorite tiles. I did want to point that out because, you know, you get some, especially with glass tile, you get some that has a lot of iridescence look that I, I talk about. With this style in particular, you got a clear glass, a texture glass, and, and an iridescent piece. And so like in this lighting right here, you catch all these different colors, but it's not overwhelmingly blasting you with Yeah, no matter which way shimmer. you look at it, it's a different shimmer. So, and it's all different types of blues too, you know? Yeah. I'm a true believer with the pool, you, you like need your to blue. have a blue. <laughs> you know, you fight me on that. I think, I think Ben's colorblind sometimes, yeah. sometimes he's not. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm a true believer when it comes to a pool, a blue tile sets it off. Well, and on this too, with this, with these back walls, you know, and, and we, we go back and forth about this all the time, just different colors and things like that. Like, like doing the different types of finishes with, with split face travertine and, and blue, blue tile, you get the blue tile like you should have in a pool and that, that blue feeling, and then also have some natural look to it too. It ties it all together. and really makes these the features that you want to see really stand out. Yeah, because at first uh, we had rock all the way across the back. It really didn't do much for and, us. Yeah, and what, the whole goal is this, when you have these raised areas in these tiers, you want to separate them. You want to make one pop, then the main one is your middle one. You want to make that pop off. So now you got the spa over here as your focal point. And when you're looking at the spa, then you're looking at the back raised area. Yeah. You know, something else too, that when, as building was going on and we were, um, we were putting it all together, you know, something that a lot of people don't think about as in the design, which we really touch on, especially with the 3D program is laying out all of the area. Well, we had talked about uh, area for the, we have nine grandchildren, so we definitely wanted an area for them you know, to be in a safe area to play in a shallow area. And uh, so as we incorporated that with our spa, we come up with some bubblers and different lighting and stuff like that that, of course, the kids could enjoy. And again, uh, Ben and John and Danielle helped make those selections and 
from my living here before, I knew that uh, your, your pool area is an extension of your home. And uh, so by adding all these little features, it, it made it a huge difference in the more than doubling the living space of your home, so. It's all an outdoor living space. So accommodating the space with these planters, these pots, these chairs, different sitting areas and really planning that out when you're in the design phases is super important. And like with this area here, we spaced everything out. So there is a nice big congregating area under cover. There's places to sit in the water. There's places, there's a bench along here to sit on. Um, there's just all different areas to uh, really accommodate all your guys' friends that you don't have coming out here. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, it's outdoor <laughs> living, outdoor entertainment. Yeah. So, you know, it's either you can entertain a lot of people or Christmas entertain, party here this year? entertain yourself or a couple of friends. So, <laughs> yeah, one day we'll have the Christmas party here. Uh, yeah. We should be able to fit everyone. I think so. So, obviously, when it came down to, like, the finer details of tile and the fire and water elements that we love so much. You know, they helped us out to pick. There's so many different decisions and colors and how the light hits one and the other. It was just, it, they helped so much. We picked the best colors, I think. And it was a very easy process. It really was with them. and. Well, they just make it easy because they're familiar with it and right. the way the lights cast off of the interior finish to give you the color of the water you desire versus uh, aqua to more blue, that sort of thing. They know all those details and quite frankly, I've been removed from the, the business for the last few years and, and uh, that's not my expertise anymore. When we did it, you know, Every day that was different, but they are way more familiar with that and, and are way more knowledgeable. So it made it a real simple process for us. And they just know when you just give them what you like, what you you know prefer, and they did a great job. I would say by far my favorite part of the pool is the lighting. I've always liked the lights and. Uh, different businesses I had. I've had neons on the buildings and stuff to outline it. And uh, I know for Janine, I think there's one uh, other feature. By far, the fire bowls are my favorite. And, and anywhere you are, they're my favorite. Outside, in the spa, from the house, from the road. It's just, it's just beautiful, peaceful, tranquil. By far the fire water balls. Are yeah, the, best. the the first few days we were here, first few nights that we were out here, uh, traffic would go by and actually stop on the road, and uh, <laughs> we thought it was like they were looking at Christmas lights or something. So I actually had to yeah. go out and take a look at myself, and it is it's really uh, it's really. quite a light show. Technology being so far advanced today as compared to when I was building the pools. Uh, it's so far advanced that uh, John being a gadget guy, I was able to take advantage of uh, many options on here that I probably would have never selected and uh, different bubblers and lights and thumper mode they have on uh, the uh, deck jets. I mean, there's just so many things and, and everything is controlled by your phone which I have a hard time using just my phone, but I'm gonna to have to figure it out. I'm trying to teach it. <laughs> <laughs> Looking to add more space to your place while avoiding a long and costly remodel? A beautifully designed custom closet or home office space from More Space Place offers endless possibilities. Schedule your free consultation. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Sleep King in Sarasota, since 1972, where you can buy a mattress today, sleep on it tonight. Now through Wednesday, your favorite brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more are in stock and on sale. Free same-day delivery. 
even if we have to carry it on our backs. The best rest of your life starts at Sleep King in Sarasota. Visit our showroom today or at sleepkingmattress.com. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's got to be a kitchen from Eurotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home. Looking to add more space to your place while avoiding a long and costly remodel? More Space Place offers the widest selection of the most comfortable and stylish Murphy beds in the market. Schedule your free design consultation. Sleep King in Sarasota, where you can buy a mattress today, sleep on it tonight. Now through Wednesday, your favorite brands in stock and on sale. Free same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Visit our showroom or at sleepkingmattress.com. One thing that I see a lot of that was huge here is when we, when you go out on pool decks and they have raised areas, if you come off of the roof line, this gets really short. Yeah, because right now I'm over the roof, right? Yeah. Here. And I can touch this with, what was it, three foot riser? We did a three foot riser wall, but that makes all the difference so in the world. So if you don't have that three on. foot on, it's gonna be about what, right You're here? knocking your head walking through here. So that's huge, it opens up everything. And honestly, I, I totally missed it. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's something that I see a lot when we're doing like remodels and things like that on existing pools where you walk out and it's like, man, it'd be really nice to have a riser wall here and just bring the whole roof of the cage higher. Plus, it just makes us open. Thanks so much for joining us on this outdoor living edition of Home Sweet Home. If you would like to watch this episode again or learn more about our experts, visit homesweethomefla.com. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours.